And well, now I will complete this CNC build thanks to the power of video. Oh my God, look at this. This spindle and these motors are overpowered for this small build. It's gonna be awesome. Well, at least I hope so. I have no idea actually what I'm talking about. And again, that's the spindle mount right here. Well, all the spindle mounts. Welcome back to my daily grind Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night No time to lose, one day, one step in the right direction I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too Welcome back to the vlog, it is Friday, another day, another chance to push hard The topic for this one is mounting the spindle, so let's get it But before we get started, the vlog goes out to all my subscribers Thank you for making my life special and worth a living to the max So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video I'm anticipating the hardship uh, But whew, I'm able to do this I'm freaking able, I just need to work it out So let's do this I think I have everything that I need for it Bunch of screws right there. I will probably use the screws for the side, so I need 16 of them. I also brought 16 nuts, but I only need eight of them actually. The nuts will go somewhere in here. This will be, yeah, this will be not that easy, I guess, because there isn't like, there is not enough space. I need to fit them inside this rail somehow. Oh my God. And I also need to come up with something to, I don't know, I want to come up with something for this area right here. So yeah, let's, let's try. I will see in a bit. Okay, so that's the first thing that I came up with. This is a little, um, let's say, hook for the bottom. And that's the printed part right there. It has a little nudge, a little prism on the back side so that it perfectly fits in here. And yeah, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, this little screw right here. Let's get it, just like that, perfect, let's go, very nice, okay, well let's see, this will be the reference point for the spindle right here, just like that, okay, this little hook needs to be bigger, but other than that, it's definitely not too bad, okay, let's clamp it up, just like that, next up will be a 100% infill variation and I obviously will print it for both sides and I'm currently working on parts for the sides right here. I will like do it like this with a washer and a screw and they need to go literally inside this little slot right here. Well, let's see. So that's what I came up with. As expected, it's a fairly complex part and yeah, that's what it looks like. Washer goes in here, nut goes in here, screw goes in here and two screws and yeah one of them will take around one hour to print so I need eight of them and this will need eight hours to print. <laughs> and that's the first prototype right here and as we can see yeah it's not looking that pretty I think I need supports god damn it. Well that was actually oh my god I I'm stupid. I should try printing it like that just like that I printed it like that but I should try printing it like that. Oh, and I also made another mistake. The washer fits in here, but it needs to go further in, so that's another mistake. But other than that, let's try it. Oh my god, there is yet another problem. I'm missing a washer. I'm missing a freaking washer for the lead screw. So I tried drilling it, and I wasted two of these precision washers in the process. I just can't do it, I broke them. So I'm currently printing one, shouldn't be a problem, I guess. Well, actually I need to do this first, then I will test this. Well, yeah, I will see in a bit. And here we go, that's my makeshift washer, 3D printed washer, and it turned out pretty... <laughs> it turned out really good, pretty freaking good. It's looking good. And also, just got myself the hooks, the final versions of them, check this out. This thing is a bit bigger. But other than that, yeah, 100% infill, took around two hours to print them. So yeah, time is passing by fairly fast. So let's get back to work. Oh, check this out. I just assembled the Z gantry. Well, the ZX is actually, my bad. Uh, that's the washer right there. Working out perfectly fine. And yeah, that's the part right here, the, the flawed one. But it's good for a first test. I actually wanted to use these screws right here, but... Yeah, they just work perfectly fine, but I don't have enough of them. I only have these two, so I need to get myself more, but still need to print the parts anyway, so let's just 
Let's fix this one up. Oh my god, I forgot the washer, but yeah. As you can see, this, the nut is slowly vanishing. And yeah, all in all, like it's working. And eight of them should definitely hold this piece in place firmly as hell. At least that's what I'm hoping for. So yeah, this is amazing, actually. This is actually amazing. Okay, and these bottom hooks are in place. As you can see, working out pretty good. And yeah, this thing is not moving, why? Oh, I know why. Let's check the clearance. This is actually not looking good. Oh, that's why. It's coming off. Oh my god, hell no. Let's give it more pressure then. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Of course, of course. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> 10% infill by the way. Okay, now it's looking better. So yeah, now the, it's yeah, it's looking way better now Clearance on fleek. Let's get it. Let's go Sweet all this left now is to print well to actually fix this part and then print eight of them And this will complete the spindle well this mounting the spindle and then it's ready to go up here motor goes on top and then well that's actually the complete project done so yeah let's print the parts get screws and i will see you in a bit by the way that's the final version of the side mount right there it's printed like that and it's looking absolutely flawless just came out of the printer like that it's looking freaking perfect this is what it looks like on the spindle I removed the washer because you know this was kind of ridiculous so now I only need to add one nut to the mix yeah and that's pretty much it so yeah I already have four I need four more four hours to go so here we finally go and meanwhile I also put on the build area build plate so yeah let's put this thing on here um, I also readjusted the spindle as you can see previously it was right here now it's back here and well now I will complete this CNC build thanks to the power of video oh my god look at this look at this it is actually done I can't believe it what a massive project well it's not done done but that's the frame with all the motors in place and the spindle damn okay this is massive this spindle and these motors are overpowered for this small build it's gonna be awesome well at least i hope so i have no idea actually what i'm talking about i'm looking forward to it to testing it <laughs> so exciting oh my god this is, this is gonna be good and again that's the spindle mount right here well all the spindle mounts eight in total and i'm well i got lucky again because they fit just perfectly well the spindle fits perfectly onto this thing with the, uh, well, it just worked out <laughs> really well, thankfully. And yeah, on top is this motor and when I turn it, I can lower it and you know, this <laughs> stuff like that. And well, I think, I actually think that this was the easy part because well, look at this. Over here are all the other needed components. The motor drivers, power supplies, this box for the spindle. So yeah, I came a long way, but it's gonna be crazy. I think that it's actually going to be a lot of work. Well, there is still a lot of work ahead of me is what I'm trying to say. But nevertheless, very good progress. I'm proud of myself. Let's hope it will perform as amazing as it looks. But yeah, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button away. I finally smashed together the complete <laughs> Kit with everything else. Bang the bell like ta -ta, so that you never miss CNC build updates. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>